Would you like to work as a nurse here in the UK? Are you registered for the new NMC OSCE exam but don't know where to start? The new NMC OSCE features 10 stations, including the four APIE stations, plus two pairs of skills, plus two brand new stations testing your values, behaviours and knowledge of evidence-based practice. Nurses, we can't wait to be there by your side as you prepare for the brand new NMC OSCE. You know what to do? Take the first step. Call 0203 637 6722. That's 0203 637 6722 today. Hello, my name is George here. Welcome to our channel. And today we have a very special guest. Hi, everyone. My name is Ian. I am a registered nurse here in the UK and I've been working with robotics for for three years now. I have a range of motion and they're connected to a machine called the robot and the surgeon actually operates from a console that can be several meters away from the patient. I've been living and working here in England for roughly four years now. Back in the Philippines, I used to work as a clinical instructor. I've also worked in emergency department and aside from that, I've, I've worked and live in Australia, Melbourne for, for four years. I've worked in disability, but I've, I, but I've decided to move to the UK uh, and pursue my career in here. And I'm loving it. Knows best. So just a brief overview of the information regarding robotic surgery. Uh, it is actually designed to facilitate surgery using minimally invasive procedure so it's nothing compared uh, compared to the traditional open surgery uh, obviously the robot is being controlled by the surgeon from the console so whenever you see the surgeon doing robotic surgery it seems like he or she's playing uh, a computer game uh, but yeah uh, the advantages of this would be for patients shorter hospital stays, uh, faster return to normal activities, you know, their day-to-day -day activities, uh, smaller incision and less trauma, which means lower risk of infection and, and complication, uh, which is really good. Uh, I would say the downfall of this would be the cost, but here in, in the UK, we've got NHS, so that's all been covered. Uh, patients won't have to pay anything at all, even a single pence. Man knows best. I remember having to undergo a three-month training with senior staff and a medical representative, but that was it. After that three months, uh, I was already part of the numbers. And ideally, they would prefer someone who has a theater background, but not necessarily really uh if you really are interested to do robotics you know you can apply i'm pretty sure they will welcome you regardless of your experience and they will they will provide you the training goodbye uh when it first came out 12 years ago i was in australia and it's yeah not many hospitals are using them so i uh, i was lucky enough to to use the robot. Hindi naman walang pasyente at that time. Pero yun, nagka-interest ako, oh, this is what I want to do in the future. So, nung lumipat ako ng England and I saw the post for robotics. So, I thought, oh, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So, now, andito ako sa robotics and yeah, I'm enjoying my job and I'm actually uh, also eyeing, uh, you know, a, a band six position soon for robotic suits in our hospital. So hopefully, hopefully I'll get that post. <laughs> Always remember, Madam Knows. Yeah. Came in 17. Yeah. Damn. Madam Knows best, put your worries to rest when staying in the United Kingdom. Man knows best.